Matt Bernie or Dan Illman taking a look back at the Franklin County from Keeneland this past Friday afternoon. A grade three race, five and a half furlongs on the turf course. Phillies and Mares three year olds and up as they break from the gate. You're going to notice there's not a ton of running going on from the back of the pack simply because it seems like the pace is, is relatively rated. The pace is rated. Kasuga, who, what a great job these connections did. I believe this horse was running for 40 uh, up in Woodbine. She is a true turf sprinter. She gets to a nice, easy lead. But Jose Lascano, who was just in fine form over the weekend at Keeneland, has the talented Morticia sitting in second, and that's the place to be. Sit in the perfect spot right now. You see the fractions, 22 and 1 for the opening quarter, a half mile and 45 and 4 for some talented fillies. You made mention Kasuga's on the front end right now. More Morticia sitting the perfect trip, and now you're going to start to see a couple of familiar names far outside in those yellow silks. You're going to see Lull try to get involved from the back of the pack, way in the back. Here comes always thinking through traffic, but at this point, Morticia's got the jump. Morticia's got the jump, and Morticia really wants the five and a half. When Lull beat Morticia at Kentucky Downs, who was at six and a half, I think that stamina, that extra furlong work to Lull's advantage. Here, the pace and the shorter distance helped Morticia. She's on her wrong lead all the way down to the wire, but she is a pretty good turf Sprinter. Tremendous call from Kurt Becker. If it's October, it must be Morticia. Friday the 13th? Morticia gets, yes, you're right. Friday the 13th, Morticia gets the job done in the Franklin County. Stakes $7.60. Just a lady. $17.80 to place. Lull $2.80 to show. $1 exact to $61.40. 50 cent try. One o eight o five. Morticia, what else is there to say? She's a nice filly. She goes out there, she runs, she's honest, she's only been off the board once in her life, six of nine lifetime. She's just a shade over 350000 for Rusty Arnold, Jose Lascano, Giant Weekend. She's not Lady Aurelia. I don't think she is a Breeders' Cup type turf sprinter, but you have to remember, she's only three, and if these connections decide to bring her back next year, I still think there's room for her improvement as she physically matures. Maybe we'll see that lead change come a little bit smoother and at these distances five five and a half six I think there are a lot of ways Morticia can make money for them she reminds me a little bit of Lady Shipman sure absolutely and we know what Lady Shipman was capable of doing as she continued to progress a little bit and what she was capable of at her absolute best lull was it a combination of things where the pace wasn't blistering fast she was hung a little bit wide and maybe she wants a little bit more ground than five and a half lull broke really well and I think again the pace at five and a half usually obviously faster yeah. than at six and a half and she found herself in between horses out sprinted Brian Hernandez jr. tried to get her to the outside made a sweeping move but the pace really wasn't fast and she flattened out late uh, I think that lull is at her her best six six and a half seven furlongs five and a half a little short she lost nothing in defeat here I think though she was third on class alone there wasn't just really a lot of running coming from the back of the pack you said before we came on Kasuga if nothing else validated the, the, the form from Canada she's another one that five and a half might be short you know in Canada with that long stretch mm -hmm. especially when she's going six six and a half on the turf and she's able to control the, those races and hear her feet rattle that's fine for her here she had Morticia breathing down her neck all the way into the turn. She was never really any kind of match for Morticia at the 316th pole, but she held on well enough for fourth. Now, she's five years old, about to turn six. Who knows what the future holds? She's now uh, under the, the very uh, caring tutelage of Bill Mott. Maybe we'll see her next year at six. Uh, I still think there's some races for it if she continues to race. Always thinking, all things considered, I thought it was a really good ride from Joe Bravo coming from the back trying to weave in and out of traffic. The problem is, you saw the gallop out. If you watch the entire replay, you can check that out in Formulator. Galloped out like an absolute freight train. Five and a half too short. Five and a half was too short, and this was a 180-degree different pace scenario than what we saw at Laurel going six yeah. in her prior start, where there was a lot of hitting up front, always thinking came with a really good run on the outside. I liked her in this race, but after the first quarter mile, it was hard to like anything about always thinking because her lack of speed just really put her behind the eight ball, and it was really Bravo's skill, as you mentioned, yeah. weaving in and out, making all the right decisions through traffic to get a piece of this. She's another one. Seven furlongs on the turf at Belmont next year. We talk about maybe there weren't wasn't a lot of running from the back of the pack with the exception of always thinking Miss Ella was a horse that took some money in here she has a big reputation she's accomplished a lot on the racetrack was it a matter of the pace kind of being her undoing or have we seen her best days behind her she won this race last year it looked like two three four starts ago she was slowly getting back to her good form when she was beaten by always thinking at Laurel I think that might have been a warning sign a red flag if you will that Miss Ella at the age of five right now is going a little bit off form little traffic in the stretch from Miss Ella here, but I'm disheartened by her last two races. Maybe this is not going to be a key prep for the Breeders' Cup turf sprint, but you know that Morticia is a quality 
Philly. Quality Philly, and you would think as she goes on and matures, there's going to be bigger and better things in her future. She gets the job done in the Buffalo Trace, Franklin County.